right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte react here back again i know it's been a while since i've done the walking dead but as you know the channel has been struggling a lot and i don't really like to put these videos out while the channel is still dealing with this issue um i want it to be dealt with but youtube is not helping me so i've decided to just keep trucking on and see what happens whatever you know what I'm saying? They're not, they, they weren't, when notifications were working, they weren't really pushing my videos. And now that, you know what I'm saying? Is it, it, this is even worse than what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like this is worse now for my channel because now my subscribers are not getting notif notifications when I put out videos. So how are they supposed to watch my videos if they don't know it's out unless they actually go and check to see if I've put out new videos, which is tedious for anybody. Like in this day and age, people don't have time unless they're really dedicated and love your stuff. They're not going to really do that to check to see if there's any new reactions out on your specific channel page. You get what I'm saying? People like to be notified about stuff. Even alarm system these days are doing that. With, with, with phones and, you know what I'm saying, having an alarm system in your home. Even they're doing that these days. But no, YouTube is going to mess up things. And I'm not saying that this is for everybody or whatever. I don't know what happened and I can't tell you what happened. The only thing that I can do is just hope that it that it turns around and this is, and, and this is not an issue anymore. It's still an issue. After... Three months of dealing with this. You get what I'm saying? After three months of dealing with this, um, I think somebody had made a suggestion and and saying that, you know, um, ever since I did the live stream, the four hour live stream for um, the the Snyder Cut of Justice League, that might that that could have been the problem or whatever. But that shouldn't have been the problem. Um, I've taken down that video actually, and it didn't solve anything. So. Um, so in my opinion, I, I'm, I don't know, I can't talk to anybody personally at YouTube. So there goes in the problem there because, because their customer service is basically you talking to someone over support chat, because if you don't have a certain status and even when you have a certain status, as in a lot of subscribers and stuff on YouTube, you still don't get a YouTube manager. Like you gotta be handpicked to get to have a personal YouTube manager. You get what I'm saying, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion where you get I don't know if it's special treatment or whatever. I think if you're going to set a, a a threshold for people to get that kind of personal attention uh, um in a business, everybody should be able to attain that goal, not you just picking specific people that you like on the platform to give special treatment to that's absolutely ridiculous but that's neither here nor there let's get to the walking dead um plenty of people has told me that this here episode is um negan centric um and it's one of the best episodes of season 10 so i'm looking forward to it of course you guys know that negan is one of my favorite characters in the show um you know my bar and everything that he that he's done i um i'm really digging how they um, redeem this character in certain ways. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do here um, with this episode. Of course, last um, I think last episode they they um, showcase old girl there. I don't remember her name, so don't ask me. I don't remember her name right now, right? Um, so it's like you know, um, it's it's a situation where you. I don't know what's going to happen here and I don't know what they're going to be flashbacking to because I heard it's like a flashback episode. I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. So um, we got a we got a um, episode with Gabriel and Aaron, of course. So that was a really good episode. I think I enjoyed that episode more than I enjoyed the episode, you know, showing um, old girls. um you know, mental issues that she goes through and the trauma that she went through in the past and her talking about it and stuff like that. Um, you know, and you really do have to say, like, do all these characters, do we need to know all of this about them? And in, in certain ways, yes, we do need, you know, a backstory in plenty of these characters, you know, um, and 
you know, in, in, in you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people would have would probably not like the fact that if they go into season 11, right? If they go into season 11 and did this at the beginning of season 11, a lot of people would not have liked that. So, um, so it's good that they're kind of getting these episodes out of the way when in a way it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, you know, in these, I like people are dying for more the walking dead episodes, but I think the best thing that they did was do it now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of doing it later. But anyways, we're going to jump in and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode 22. Um, I think the name of the episode is Here Comes Negan. Um, and it's 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 one of those episodes where you want to know about all of this. You want to know about all of this. And it could make things a little bit controversial too because, you know what I'm saying, Negan is a, is a redemptive character in the story. And, you know... He told a little bit about the story. I was talking about it during the episode as well. Like he was talking a little bit about it when he was talking to Gabriel. And we didn't get the full story of who Lucille is, but we knew that was his wife's name. She had cancer, blah, 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 all this other stuff. But we didn't know the full story of what took place. You know what I mean? So to get that backstory in this episode was very well done. I really like how they did it, how they filmed the episode, everything about it was great the story that they tell of how negan became who he was before the redemptive arc and the person that we see today is he gonna go back to those old person and you know what i'm saying because the thing the thing about it is this right is is are they gonna turn him evil again i don't i don't think so but it kind of seems like that's the direction they're going. I'm hoping that is not the direction they're trying to go because that is going to leave me in a weird headspace about not only the character, but about the writing of the show right now. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. As I said, Maggie could try to kill Negan because they, because you know, we all love Maggie more than we love Negan because of the stuff that he did. And I totally get it. But at the same time, I'm not saying that Maggie should forgive Negan. I don't think that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, in my opinion, I think they could keep their distance and still, you know what I'm saying? Like when they need Negan to, to whatever, get crops or, you know, go out there looking for food. If, if, if Daryl and Carol can, you know, do missions with them, you know, then I think that they could keep the distance. They don't have to be, yes, they can keep, you know, giving each other death stares or, you know, Maggie keeps giving him death stares or whatever. I don't think that even, I don't think Herschel knows that this is the dude that killed his dad. Like, I don't think, you know, cause I don't think Maggie told him that, you know what I'm saying? And I think he has a kid. She's not going to tell him that, you know, I don't think, if I don't think I would tell him that. So in turn, in my opinion, I think they could, um, in further episodes or going into to season 11, they could really, you know, take a lesson and take, take a beat. You know what I'm saying? Take a beat into how they, they are going to progress these episodes going forward. You know what I mean? So, um, it, it's, the relationship between Maggie and Negan is never going to be anything good and shiny and bright. And, and we get it. You get what I'm saying? Like for me, I don't expect it to happen. And I'm just saying this from my perspective, I really don't think this is ever going to happen. So for me, you know, I would be fine if they just keep their distance and they just take care of business because obviously we have a new group of people, the Reapers or whatever they call them that we need to deal with. In my opinion, you need Negan because not only was Negan able to get people together under, if you, even if you want to say it's from fear or whatever the situation, he did build up the, um, the saviors. He did that. So not only 
were they surviving or figured out a way to survive even though they were using other places to survive off of and they did minimal amount of work you know what i'm saying not only that he still has the sense of a leader whether it not be a great leader or whatever the situation is uh, on detectorship i mean he's no rick don't get me wrong he's you know what i'm saying he's he's no rick in my eyes like i'm never going to put him up there as in he has you know the same kind of leadership qualities as say a rick he does not but he still was able to organize people and get people um together you know what i'm saying and whether you want to say it's out of fear he still did it so i think he could be an asset and not a liability i do think that negan has changed and i do believe in people having a second chance and a lot of people will say well he killed one of my favorite characters and blah 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 and all this other stuff listen guys you know i have a different philosophy than than majority of people out there and you know have said this time and time again whether it's on this reaction whether it's on you know on reactions before on other videos and stuff like that i've always said this if you believe that you deserve a second chance i believe everybody deserves a second chance some people get third and fourth chances too but i do believe that people you got to understand even from watching this episode you should understand why negan became the type of person that he did you get what i'm saying he didn't get back to his wife in time she decided to kill him kill herself she had cancer he couldn't get back there in time and you know and that's on that's that's on the guys that decided oh we we gonna hold you here for for how many for how long you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure it was for a long time you know what i'm saying that they had him there because he was gone for I think I think he said he was gone for like two or three weeks when you know when the doctors you know when he was talking to to the um to the doctor and stuff that he was gone for a while so and then he got held up by these bikers after the fact and then they let him go it was too late when he got back you know what I'm saying so understanding that and putting that in perspective you can't understand why negan became the type of person he was and that's the reason why this episode is super important you know whether it was now or whether it came at like the beginning of season 11 i wouldn't have minded because you guys know how i feel about flashback episodes i think they're absolutely necessary in character development in any story that you tell i think they're absolutely necessary especially when characters are there from the get-go and you don't really know nothing about them you get what i'm saying or you're introducing new characters and you really don't know how they became the way they came now did negan have to have a story like this no they could have made him be the most horrible person in the past and he just continued to be that way and then because of carl changed him same result you know what i'm saying same it, it would have been the same result of who he is now but it could have went a completely different round it didn't have to make him you know a, a, a basically a softy that lost his wife and just became an absolute terrible person you know what i'm saying and y you know just having that miscued view of the world after that happening it could you know what i'm saying it, that thing could trigger i could see anybody being in that situation ending up in go in negan's path now am i saying that it's the right path to take but it is possible you know what i'm saying i like to use examples from other shows that i've watched you know what i'm saying um and one of them i like i i, I like to talk about is naruto which is my favorite anime of all time and it's kind of like a similar situation here um not in terms of you know, it's the same thing that happened to these characters, but you have two characters in the story that we follow throughout the entirety of the story, um, and that is Naruto and Sasuke, right? Two basically, two basically, two characters basically in the same situation, right? And seeing the the, the different paths that they they take throughout the show, right? As in one. You know what I'm saying? In a particular situation, in the other, basically, both of them was alone. Basically, 
not not having any family right i don't want to inspire just in case anybody's here that never watched the show so they were basically alone and they took completely different paths now were the circumstances the same no how they lost their family was not the same right but they both were alone kid as kids they were both orphans right but they ended up going in two different two different paths they took one took a good path one took a bad path you get what i'm saying so um but they were all striving towards um goals they had goals right so it, it, it's it just goes to show you how much character development is really important because two people with the same situations or facing the same um fork in the road and they both could choose different paths right and that's important even as writers of the show for them to showcase that sometimes you know what i'm saying if you're going to look at the situation between rick and negan you kind of kind of um see the, the 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 you know what i'm saying similarities in their backgrounds as well you know what i'm saying um rick could have came out and being a uh an absolute savage he fought that for so long you know what i'm saying he fought against that for so long till you really actually started to believe that rick was gonna go down a bad path sometimes you know what i'm saying but it didn't it didn't happen he was on the edge he was on the edge but he but you know he had people that kept pulling him back in pulling him back in there was a while when i was like yo rick bearded rick is a savage is an absolute savage he don't care because he realizes you know what i'm saying like we are out here being hunted by the dead but you have these people that have these miscued con conceptions about you know what i'm saying these people who are just trying to get along with everybody right and they think we're soft so now we're going to show them who we are when we get serious right and that was one of the times in the show we are where everybody was like yo this is the rick i like to see and i'm like this is not the rick i want to see even though um i appreciate them going in this direction with rick it's not the rick i, I like to see i like compassionate rick because when you're a leader who's com who's compassionate you can see things with, with which a lot of leader would not see you get what I'm saying? When you're all when you're ruling by fear, in Negan's case, you can see how that can be your downfall because you can miss stuff. You get what I'm saying? But when you're ruling with compassion, everybody understands who you are, and it's not necessarily a dictatorship. You know what I'm saying? It's because we remember when when Rick went into that mode, what happened? A lot of things happened that wasn't supposed to happen, right? So it is what it is. I enjoyed this episode very much. So Negan um i don't remember his name um i don't remember his name but morgan something i think i know his name is morgan i, I <laughs> can't remember his name anyways i don't know his, i don't remember his real name in real life well i don't remember all of it but i know morgan is somewhere in there but yeah but he definitely did an excellent job as an actor in this episode it definitely showed a lot softer side of what he used to be and what started to kill him because one of the things that he said in during the episode that really got me was like i do not want to get used to doing this you know what i'm saying which is the whole taking out the walker thing and he was relating that to being a human who just becomes desensitized to killing you know whether it's an animal or or or, or whether it's a human being or whether it's a, a walker you don't want to become desensitized to that because then you've you you really in a place where you 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 um it's like there's no con you feel like there's no consequences and you can see that when he became bad negan that he realizes oh in a world like this there's no consequences anymore you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna get fired from no job if i kill if i kill somebody or if i beat somebody up you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna get fired from my job there's not gonna be no consequences nobody's keeping score as he said so i could do whatever i want pretty much so when you're in that position and you see that it's not the greatest outlook but is it is a miscued concept <laughs> you know what i'm saying or view to have but 
it's it was just an awesome episode man um i like it very much glad that i got to see it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always leave a like on the video and of course leave a comment if when and when you get to see this whatever thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all i'll see you guys for the next one peace